Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you the best Android emulators for every console. Now my main priority when testing these emulators was the smoothness of gameplay. I tested primarily on this 2 year old Nexus to make sure these would run well on most modern phones. For the most part, each of these emulators can be installed for free on the Google Play Store, with the exception of EPSXE which will run you 375. So if you're interested in any of these, just search them by name on the Play Store or head to my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks to get a direct download link. But for the rest of this video, I'm going to pair a Bluetooth controller with the phone so you can get a good idea of what gameplay looks like. Now first up is RetroArch. This is like the Swiss Army Knife of emulators, since you can load up cores for tons of different consoles and arcades. There's actually some consoles that have multiple cores available, so you can experiment with those to find the one that works best for your device. For the most part though, all the cores I tested with this ran flawlessly, so it's definitely a solid option for pretty much any console that you want to emulate. Next is the Sega Genesis emulator. The best one of these I found is called MD.EMU. This one will actually let you pair a Wii mode, and there's plenty of options for remapping buttons on any controller. And not only can you play Genesis games with this, but you can also load Sega CD and Master System ROMs. Since these are all older consoles, I haven't seen a single hiccup during gameplay, so it's a great option for Sega fans. The next up is the biggest rival to the Genesis, which of course was Super Nintendo. This was one of the most popular consoles of all time, so there are plenty of emulators out there, but the best one is SNES 9X in my opinion. I got a Super Nintendo for my 13th birthday, so the nostalgia factor is through the roof for me. I only mention that because I've tried tons of SNES emulators as a result, and this one has been the best by far. After that we have Mupin 64, which is the smoothest Nintendo 64 emulator I tested. N64 games are actually pretty power hungry, but they should still run smoothly on most Android phones. Really the only downside here is the on-screen controller interface, which is honestly pretty hard to use. But that's going to be true of any later generation console emulator where the original controller had shoulder buttons and joysticks. Keeping with the Nintendo theme, next up is My Boy, which is an awesome Game Boy Advance emulator. The processor in this Nexus 5 can run circles around these games, so you shouldn't notice any drop frames on your own device. On the downside, Nintendo has been really aggressive about filing DMCA complaints on any site that hosts ROMs for their systems, but there are still a few of them out there. Then Nintendo's next gen portable console was of course the DS, and there's really only one emulator option to consider here. Drastic is by far the best DS emulator, and it works very well with your phone in portrait mode since it makes the bottom half of the screen touchable like it was on the DS. I'm using the free version here, but it only gives you a 30 minute gameplay trial. After that, you'll have to buy the full version for $5.99. Now it's time for some PlayStation love. This emulator is called EPSXE and it's the one that cost $375. But considering how powerful the PS1 was, you really need to make sure that you get a good emulator if you want decent performance. EPSXE definitely has that covered since it gives you pretty solid performance for a decent price. After that we have PPSPP which is the only legit PlayStation Portable emulator for Android. You gotta keep in mind that these ROMs are gonna take up a lot of space on your device, since the games themselves are at least a half a gigabyte. And I did notice some lag using this on my Nexus 5, but it wasn't as much of an issue on my Galaxy S6. So hardware is definitely gonna be a factor with this one, and I'd only recommend this if you're using a newer high-end device. Then finally we have MAME for Droid, which like every MAME system, can run pretty much any arcade game ever made. It's got a pretty nice interface, and these games absolutely fly on this emulator. One thing you should be aware of though is that this only supports the 037B5 MAME standard, so you'll have to look out for that when you're downloading ROMs. Overall, Android emulation has come a long way, and all these apps give you a pretty awesome experience. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.